freshman House Republican John Katko is celebrating tonight. Just a month into his first term in office, the House passed the first two pieces of legislation sponsored by Katko. Now, one of the bills would require the TSA to have an active shooter plan in place for every U.S. airport. It's an exciting start in office for a man who decided one year ago he would run for Congress. We went to Washington to go up close with John Katko. At every turn, there's American history. Washington, Jefferson, Lincoln. They are the foundation of the U.S. Capitol. You look up at the top of the statue, yeah. see where that is? Yeah. Stairs go all the way up there. For a first-term member of Congress, everything is new. I like walking out this way because on the side entrance right here is where you can go into the, the house entrance. John Katko beams with pride as he walks Independence Avenue. That's the Capitol. Yeah, that's where we, that's where I work. I've never said that before. Yeah. It's like, oh, that's pretty cool. His office is next door in the Longworth office building. A lottery placed him in one of the premier offices of all the freshmen. What's different between running a campaign and being home and, and then and then becoming somebody who's actually governing like this? Everything. There, it's, it's totally different. I, I, I can't even believe the difference. You're out talking more on a general scale and you're you know, talking about general arguments, introducing yourself to people on a campaign trail and making your arguments and your positions. But now it's time to roll up the sleeves and get to work. He has chaired his first subcommittee hearing that focused on airport security. He also sits in a key transportation committee that controls the highway bill. That ultimately could mean funding for the I-81 rebuild in Syracuse. What you do now is going to be judged for the next two years, and so you got to get off on the right foot and you got to start doing things right. It's very, very different, and it's really learning a completely new job and a new craft. And uh, it's exciting, it's difficult, but it's very exciting and it's, it's a high honor. Let's do more to restore the link between hard work and growing opportunity for every American. For freshman member of the House John Katko, this was his first State of the Union. It was a night that he'll forever remember. You're part of history, and so how was it anything other than exciting? I mean, it's especially my first time, so it's a high honor, and it, it kind of reinforces that you're, you're in the big leagues here. The bill is passed. Reaching the big leagues demands being a quick study. Congressman Katko has had two sponsored bills pass in the House. He has cast many votes. Most are about process and moving a bill through the chamber. He calls the rules governing the House arcane. Does it feel like that process, uh, when you first saw it, when somebody first explained this to you, did you, or you, did you feel like, why do we do it this way? Or do you feel like, hey, this is a great tradition, it's worked for our country, that we should be continuing these great traditions? Uh, yeah, or maybe a little both? It was a mix of both, for sure, because at some point it's like, this is crazy, why do you do it this way? But I understand there's like a rules process, and, and if you didn't have the rules, it would probably devolve into chaos. So it makes sense that they have to have the rules. Even with the rules, Katko has been surprised by House leadership quickly laying responsibility on his shoulders, especially with Homeland Security, where his background as a federal prosecutor brings him stature. There seems to be some, some rivalry, some Capitol Hill rivalry that the Senate and the House don't necessarily cross paths that much. Is that, oh, are you oh, experiencing that? Of course. It was like Bishop London CBA when I was in high school, man. Same thing. You know, you, there, there are, you know, they're, they're your counterparts. They're not really your rivals, but... You know, it's it's uh, you know it's competition, I guess, to some extent. Who's better and who gets more things done and who can get more things done? You guys are sending a fighter to Washington. I can guarantee you that. More than three months have passed since the elation of election night. Getting it done now means sleeping on the couch in his congressional office, showering in the House gym, and being away from family. How is this uh, this new professional life mixing with home, and, and how's that going so far? It's an adjustment for my kids and certainly an adjustment for my wife. She has teenage kids at home, so and that's, that's an adjustment. It's hard. It's uh, everyone's sacrificing. I'm sacrificing. They're sacrificing. But we made a decision about a year ago, sitting at our kitchen table, that we were going to take this shot, and we understood the sacrifices that would happen if we were successful. And understanding them and going through them are two different things, but we're, we're, we're adjusting, and I, I'm confident over time we're going to be real good. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, it's very cool. One step at a time. Well, it's not like this gym has got to be the the new member on the Hill gets his feet wet, taking inspiration from the founders as he writes page one of his congressional record. Such a beautiful city. A yeah. congressman told me it was the second day of freshman orientation when the Republican leadership told him it was already time to think re-election. He said his priority, though, is focusing on doing a good job, but admits it would be irresponsible not to start thinking about what it will take 
to win a second term already. Yeah, you can tell that he really takes pride in being there and what an honor it is for him to be able to represent Central New York down there. Yeah, that comes across uh, very clearly.